Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make simple farm cheese. Uh, the good news is you don't have to live on a farm to actually make it. You can live anywhere, do this anytime. And you just need uh, two essential ingredients, which is milk and vinegar or lemons. Then you can have optional ingredients, like uh, I've got some rosemary and salt and pepper as well. So you can choose your own flavor adventure. Uh, I happen to live with two beautiful milking goats, Jilly and Gertie, so I am blessed with abundant milk supply. But you can just buy milk from your shop. It doesn't have to be organic, but it's great if it is. Um, I just use full cream milk, uh, but it can work with light milk as well. So you can choose what works for you. It's so easy. I think it's gonna take maybe around 30 minutes and most of that's just waiting for things to heat up. So let's crack on. Important thing with cheese making is that you have to sterilize everything that you're going to use. And you can do that with boiling water or a sterilizing solution that you can get from your homebrew beer shop as well. We've got all the milk in the pot and it doesn't matter how many liters we've got in there because we'll use the same method for any quantity. And the aim of the game is we're gonna leave it in here and slowly stir it until it reaches just before boiling point, um, which is around 80 degrees. And uh, you can just look at it and eyeball it and you can see it's about to boil and then take it off the heat. Or you can use a thermometer and pop that in as well. Um, and it'll do the same job. So we're just gonna hang out here and do some stirring for a while. <laughs> Now this does take a little while, so it's good to make a cup of tea and settle in and just make a habit of stirring it semi-constantly because otherwise it gets a little crust on the bottom of the pot, which can make it burn. So you just get comfortable, relax, get a nice big long wooden spoon and just have a stir. You've got your tea, no worries. How much should you add? I hear you ask. You just add uh, enough acid ingredients until you see the curd and whey separate. Looking really nice. You see it's really clear, the curds and whey separating. It's a real thing. There's no confusion about it. You should not be confused. That is very nice. And if you, you can pull this out, look at that. Beautiful, beautiful. Our uh, next step is we're going to drain it all and we're going to capture the whey because it's incredibly nutritious. You do not want to waste that down the drain. So you can feed it back into your chickens. If you have chickens, you can soak the grain and they'll love it. They'll, um, they'll eat all that up. And you can also, once it's cool, put it back onto your garden. Uh, keeping in mind it's slightly acidic, so you don't want to put it too much on uh, some of your plants. But you definitely don't send it down the drain. Um, so for the next stage, you will need a couple of things. You need some cheesecloth, or I'm just using a brewer's bag, but just some, it could be a, a nice coarse um, tea towel as well, with nice little holes, but something fine. And then I use a, like a colander and a bowl. So I put those things together. And I'm gonna need a few bowls because it's quite a big batch, but I'll start with this one. And I'm just gonna pick it up and tip it through. Now, once you've filled up all your pots with whey, we want to actually remove it out of there and get a, a cake rack, pop it on top of a bowl and then it can sit there and drain freely, which is what you want. Um, but now is also the time where you can have a little look and a little taste, a little taste test, to see if it's to your liking. So let's get it a bit in there. Mmm, it's delicious. However, I need more salt. So now's the time you can add more flavors to make sure it's delicious. And you can just mix that in with a spoon or a knife, whatever you've got available. All right, so after it's cooled down a bit, you can start to give it a really nice squeeze. And as I mentioned earlier, you can just um, let it sit there and do its thing and go away and live your life. Or if you're impatient like me, you can just hang it out a bit, let it cool down and start squeezing it. And then it will start to hold so it can take shape. So it means that I can open up my little bag and out it comes, kind of looks like a brain. <laughs> but it's so beautiful and you can eat it immediately. And it is, mm, it's really good. So for my friends, making cheese is not just for people who are super fancy with fancy kitchen gear. It is also people for like us with pots and pans and cake wraps and beer bags that we use to make homebrew. Anyone can do this. <laughs> 
So off you trot, get your little bits of milk and lemons and have fun. Hi, I'm just popping back in to show you a different batch of cheese I've made, which is bigger and I've left sit overnight so you can see what type of shape it is. And it's more of a, a paneer. So you can cook with it in different curries and do all different things. But check this out. Woo <laughs> it's quite the beast. And you can see it holds its shape really, really well. This is a lot of cheese and we get this every week, even through winter. So I share it a lot with lots of friends. <laughs> but you can just see, basically, um, you can just cut it up and it holds its shape really well. So um, oh, I don't know if you can hear the drops on the background. But we've got some lovely tradies doing some renos in our house upstairs. And so that's the background atmosphere. <laughs> but you can see, look, it's like a slab of paneer. And of course, you can cut it into any shape. I cut it into big chunks and store it in lunch boxes in our fridge until we're ready or to give it away to people. And the other thing I wanted to tell you is this is this simple cheese making um, technique is a really nice thing to do if you've got milk, that, milk that's just gone off in the fridge. So it's a little bit sour. You definitely wouldn't want to put it in your cup of tea or coffee, but you can make cheese out of it and it is fantastic. So this is a nice, relatively quick way to um, prevent waste and create this incredibly delicious and nutritious cheese for you and your mates. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da.